Welcome to Tribe Vibe TV here from beautiful Homewood Park, located on Central Avenue, just down the road from ITF Homewood, where this Saturday, August 4th at 6.15 a.m., we'll be beginning registration, and then at 7 a.m., it'll be a war as we'll get the 5K going. This is the third edition of the 5K. The first one took place in early 2011. Second one took place last fall. And here in edition number three, we're continuing to refine the feedback we've heard from people who have ran in this event. And it should be a lot of fun. It'll start here with a workout. There'll be workouts throughout the 3.1 mile run and then an ending at ITF Homewood where the finalists will all be ranked based on their time. It's gonna be a really fun event. So I definitely recommend you register through your location manager or through the scheduling option at irontribefitness.com. So speaking of irontribefitness.com, I wanna let you in on some awesome new features we've just launched this week, and you can now experience them right now on the website. First off, we have fixed a lot of the login issues that were occurring because of Facebook Connect, and so now you should be able to log in much easier. If you do have an issue with that, talk to your location manager, but one great thing has been implemented that I know many people will appreciate, and that is the ability to go directly to your location homepage without having to log in. This means you can see the workout of the day without logging in, and you'll automatically go to your location-specific homepage. All you have to do is type in location name dot irontribefitness.com and it'll take you right there to see the workout of the day and the picture of the day amongst other location specific items that are on your homepage. So, for example, you go to mountainbrook.irontribefitness.com, it will take you to the mountainbrook homepage. Same thing for downtown.irontribefitness.com, 280280.irontribefitness.com, and homewood.irontribefitness.com. Many more changes to come as we're really implementing a lot of features working with our developers to continue making irontribefitness.com the great website that it can be. Also, want to let you know about some stuff we had the chance to talk about with Mike Collins from Iron Tribe Fitness Mountain Brook as he won the Tribe 5K last year and is urging all of his clients to make sure they get involved as this is an awesome challenge for everyone. Let's just kind of talk about the event from an athlete's perspective, what it was like starting at Homewood Park, which is where it will start this year, and ending at ITF Homewood with all the hoopla in between. I had a blast doing it. Um, there's, it's, it's more than just running a 5K. I've never considered myself a strict runner. Um, but the things that got involved with a buy-in of burpees and squats and push-ups, and then you get up and run, and then you go stop in the middle of it and do some, some workouts, as in box jumps or push presses, I think is what we did. And then you run some more, and then you stop again. There's a lot that goes on to it that's just going to test so many different things as opposed to just testing your your endurance. So if you're not a, just a runner, it's okay because there's other things that can tailor to your strengths that might help you in this 5K as opposed to just thinking it's just for the runner. So I had a blast doing it and I would suggest that everybody at least think about participating in this 5K because there's a lot that goes on and there's a lot of people and it's a lot, a lot of fun. And it is a lot of fun. There's a lot of people who come and just watch and there's a lot of people who are big time runners who will get a different flavor of a running event when they do this, including some non-athlete members of Iron Tribe Fitness, people who just come and, and participate in the event. It's gonna be a lot of fun. It's this week, 7 a.m., Saturday, August 4th, Homewood Park, it gets started, registration and all that stuff. You can sign up through the website scheduling system right now. If you have any questions, send us an email at info at irontribefitness.com. 5K is sure to be a fun event. Right now, I want to check in with Chelsea McIntyre, who I had the chance to visit with this past week. She's the head coach at ITF 280, and she had the chance to give us this week's coach's tip. Hey everybody, today we're going to talk about a movement that gives a lot of people trouble, including yours truly, and that's the split jerk. We have Chelsea here. Chelsea is not only the head coach here at ITF 280 in the evenings, but she's an expert when it comes to this movement. So Chelsea, First off, what are some things I can do if I see a push jerk coming up on the board, especially the split jerk version of it, what can I do to warm up? Uh, one thing we all think about is getting our shoulders loose since we're really going to be thinking about dropping under the bar. Um, so what the first thing I want to do is do some pass throws. So okay. getting a wide grip on the bar, so make it a little bit wider than that. We're going to have a wide grip, keeping those elbows completely locked out, um, dislocating those shoulders a little bit. Sliding those hands in, the closer you get those hands together, you get a little bit more of a stretch, kind of find that, oh, yeah. that sticking point, and maybe even some virtual pull-ups. Um, so getting that bar in front of our face. Yeah, there you go. So rotating those shoulders back and forth, that's a really good idea, a great tool for warming up those shoulders. 
All right, so now you're warmed up, ready to go for the split jerk. I know my hands are wide, kind of going for that sticking point like we do with the overhead squat and snatch. Yep. But this grip's different. Yep, we want to have our grip um, in that rack position so it's going to be right outside of our shoulders. So when I lift that bar up to that position, um, I, my hands aren't on my body. They're right outside. And I am going to think about having my elbows in front of that load, but I'm actually not going to have them as high as I would on a front squat because um, I really want to get a driving motion. So I want to have them in front, but maybe just a little bit lower. Letting that bar really sit on that fatty part of my hand so I can press straight up to the sky. Okay. So we got our hand position. Now let's talk about our feet position. Feet are going to start directly beneath us. Um, we're going to act like we have, are standing on a line. So when I go to split the line, like the movement we talked about being a split jerk, I want to think about splitting that line equally. So I keep my body over that line and actually split one leg forward and one leg backward. People have a really big tendency to step with one foot or step forward with another. Yeah, so I really want to think about taking my feet, splitting them equally. So I'm going to dip, split equally. Nice, Jim, that was really good. Um, Y'all notice, he did a great job when he recollected. He actually came back to that line. He didn't step forward to that front foot or step back to the back foot. Um, as long as I'm keeping my body over this midline, it's going to help us keep that weight a little bit more stable than letting it kind of rock back and forth. So, we hit that split. Let's do it one more time. Dip, split. He brings one foot halfway back, the other foot back forward. We meet right back in the center. And then you talked about bringing the feet back, but you also mentioned getting under the weight. How important is that? That is key because what we're doing here is we're not pressing the bar. We're actually dropping under the bar. So we don't want the bar to go super high. We really want to think about as soon as I do my baby dip, first thing I'm doing is opening my hips. But as soon as my hips are open, I'm dropping. I'm thinking how fast can I get under the bar, not how fast can I press that bar up. And so the split jerk allows us to get even lower than a push jerk because we're splitting yep. with our legs, giving us the ability to get lower. So in theory, you should be able to lift a little bit more weight with that split jerk because I am dropping all the way down as low as I can get underneath that bar. Cool. Thanks, Chelsea. Okay. Thank you. Great stuff there from Chelsea. Congratulations to her recently getting engaged to her boyfriend, Chaz. We wish you two the best. We also want to tell you about some things coming up on the next edition of Tribe Vibe TV, including a really cool taste of the town that you won't want to miss, and some more web features that we're launching as we're continuing to work with our web developers to make irontribefitness.com the best fitness website out there. Until then, I'm Jim, and for everyone at Iron Tribe Fitness, this is Tribe Vibe TV. Let's do this.